The next thing I'd like to discuss is the lead-in. Now the lead-in is a method of being able to penetrate through the material without damaging your actual part. Now if this was your part, it makes common sense that you get the plasma machine to pierce away from the edge of your part. And it's simply a matter of having the machine travel in to the edge of your part and then start traveling along. This means that the damage is going to be done to your scrap and you're going to get quite a reasonable quality edge where the start and finish points are. There are several shape lead-ins that you can perform on a part. Now the one I prefer to use is called the straight lead-in at 90 degrees. Now if this was your part My preferred method of starting is generally to pierce, travel towards the shape at 90 degrees, change direction, and then travel off at the desired offset. Now the software does that for you. All you need to tell it is where to place the start point. You can also specify how far away from the part that the pierce will be, and that's known as the lead-in length. But you could also specify an arc lead-in, in which case the machine would pierce somewhere here and will then travel in an arc until it's running parallel to the shape. Most people would logically think that would give you a smoother start and would generally give you a better result. Unfortunately with plasma there's a few things at play which make that undesirable. The main reason is that when you're cutting you're removing material. Now if I draw that as a, a double line you can imagine this whole section of material has been removed. Now, in actual fact, this is the start point here, even though the lead-in has started back here. So as the machine travels around the shape and comes back to join up with the previous cut, it has to travel all the way to the start point. That means that the machine is going to be traveling for some distance through material that's already been removed. And because electricity always takes the path of least resistance, it's going to start looking for material to arc onto. And because we've already removed the section here, it's actually going to start tracking onto your part and you'll end up with a notch on your part. So generally an arc lead-in for plasma is not really desirable.